We're in Randwick, Sydney's eastern suburbs. We are here this afternoon to see little Bella de Garso. Bella is a dog that we saw a couple of weeks ago and we saw Bella because she had such itchy skin. She was covered in little pustules and she was itchy and she had red skin and it was just awful. So guys, things that can cause Bell Bella's itchiness. So the thing that's big on the list, especially this time of year, is what they call a flea allergy dermatitis. It's where essentially that there's actually an abnormal reaction to fleas. The second thing that we really need to consider is does Bella have a mite? Mites can cause a real problem in terms of actually how much itchiness there is. The third thing that could cause this is what they call a food allergy. There is no blood test to test for food allergies and the only way that we can actually test for food allergies is to actually take them off their diet and start them on what they call a food elimination trial. The last thing on the list is a condition called atopic dermatitis or atopy. A lot of people refer this, to this as just allergies and what that basically means is that your dog is allergic to external allergens. So that could be something like pollen, dust mite, it could even be something like particular types of grass. Atopic dermatitis is usually a process of eliminations. So Bella is a really bad case. It's obviously really affecting her quality of life. You can probably actually see her little feet here. They're just absolutely red raw. So what are we gonna do with you, my little love? Because we need to really sort this out. So what we're gonna start Bella on. We've actually, Bella's already started this. But what you need to make sure is that your dog is on a really good flea prevention, okay? The next thing that we're gonna actually do with Bella is we're actually gonna start her on a medicated shampoo. Okay, so what this actually controls, this has what they call myconazole in it, which is an antifungal. The other thing we're gonna do with Bella is we're gonna actually start some antibiotics because Bella here has a really bad skin infection, right? So even if you actually remove the primary source, which in this case is some kind of allergen, you're still gonna find that you actually have a bacterial infection. So that's why it's super important to see your vet about these things because you often actually do actually need some antibiotics to clear the whole thing up. Is she okay with pills? <laughs> yeah, she's an expert at them now. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, we're actually gonna start Bella on some cortisone. Cortisone in this particular case is gonna act as a really good anti-inflammatory and it's really gonna allow us to actually get on top of that itch. Bella? You're going to show everyone how you dry yourself? Come on. And here's your tail. Going on at home. No. Well, um, originally she was really itchy. We kept giving her malice her baths with like an oatmeal conditioner, and then we had her on antibiotics mm -hmm. that you gave us after we came to see when her skin was really red. The real red kind of cracked mm -hmm. areas were cleared up. They scabbed over and healed really well. Mm -hmm. um, and then we were you started her on a little bit of cortisone. Yeah, cortisone. So let's have a look at you, huh? Can I have a look at little little ears? Still got a few little scratches in them, but they're looking. I'm just, I'm, I don't want to do this. Wow, that's a lot better, isn't it? Yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that We've even got normal skin. Yes. If you haven't seen that for a while, can I have a look at these little tall paws? I'm just looking. <laughs> the paws seem to take the longest out of anywhere to heal, so oh. she gets very. <laughs> Still very, very sensitive <laughs> about those pores, isn't she? Bella had some seriously itchy skin and we're almost there. We're at an eight out of 10 yeah. in not too long with just some commitment. And just, I'm still giving her a Maliseb bath at least twice a week at yeah. the moment. And Maliseb was the shampoo we started. Yeah. These, um, these little pores are still not probably as good as what I want them to be. 
So we're, I'm actually going to start Bella on some other things now. So I think it's probably time to start some Omega 3s and some Omega 6s. So from when I first saw Bella, she has improved 80%. So she's gone from being a sort of a 2 out of 3 out of 2 or 3 out of 10 to around about an 8 out of 10, which is amazing. She had one of the worst skin that I have seen in a very long time, so I'm really happy with this result. It's gonna be an ongoing management situation, so it's not gonna be a cure-all, and it is gonna take owner commitment and dedication, um, which luckily Chantelle is super committed to Bella, which is great. Um, and we're also gonna add in some natural therapies, so we're gonna add in some omega-3s and omega-6s to Bella's medication protocol to see if we can't get her to 10 out of 10 on her skin. So Bella, do you think that you might be able to give me a kiss? Hey Bella, kiss. So we're going to keep track of Bella over the next couple of months and we're going to make sure that everything is tracking okay and we're going to get her skin to about a 10 out of 10, I reckon. 10 out of 10? I think she's hungry.